Hi there, everyone. Tonight's lesson is lesson 2.5, Estimate with Two Digit Divisors. Our essential question is, how can you use compatible numbers to estimate quotients? Please turn in your Go Math book to lesson 2.5. Now, first, I want to talk with you about what does the word compatible mean so it makes sense to you. The word compatible means friendly. If you're compatible with somebody, it means you get along with them, so you're friends with them. So our goal today is to find numbers that are friendly with one another, that they get along, they work together. So we're going to use estimation for this. Our skill is about estimating. And we're going to look for two for right now for question three. First of all, let's go ahead and estimate 27. I'm going to round 27 up to 30, okay? And now I'm going to be thinking about my multiples of 30, all right? I've got 30, 60. Now, 60 is kind of close to 73, so I'm going to go ahead and start out by finding 600, all right? Now, the reason why I said 60 is because I was just counting by numbers that can divide. All right, so now if I have 600 divided by 30, I know 30 can go into 60 twice, and you just bring that zero up, because 20 times 30 is 600. So that's gonna be one compatible number, but our question says find two. So let's keep listing our multiples of 30. 30, 60, 90. Now I know 700, 35 falls between 600 and 900. So these will be my compatible numbers to estimate. 600 divided by 30, 900 divided by 30. So 900 divided by 30 will be 30 because 30 times 30 is 900. Now the way I found that really fast, a little trick I have is I say 30 can go into 90 three times and you just bring up this zero. So 30 times 30 is 900. So my two numbers that are compatible, or my two estimates, I'm going to have 900 divided by 30 is 30, and 600 divided by 30 is 20. So the quotient, the real quotient of 735 divided by 27 should be between 20 and 30 as the final answer. All right, let's look down at question five. Our question is we still have to find two compatible estimates. So let's go ahead and say 12. I'm gonna go ahead and estimate that to about 10. Now I'm gonna look at 336. 336 falls between 300 and 400. So let's go ahead and make up our equations. I'm going to go ahead and write it as 300 divided by 10 and 400 divided by 10. I'm going to go ahead and make this my compatible estimate. All right, so let's go ahead. We all should know that 300 divided by 10, 10 times what is 300? 30. All right, because 30 divided by 10 is 3, and then just bring up your 0. And 400 divided by 10, we could say it's about 40. So a reasonable estimate for 336 divided by 12 could be about 30. All right, let's skip on over to number 7. Let's look at our divisor. Our divisor is 16. Let's go ahead and round that up to 20. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as 20. And now let's look at our dividend. We have 2,028. I'm going to go ahead and call this 2,000. And, and I'm going to go up one more. I'm going to go ahead because I'm thinking in my head counting by twos. Even though I'm still going to call this 20, I know when I count by twos, 2 times 10 is 20, but 2 times 11 is 22. So I'm going to put 2,200 as my other compatible number. All right, let's go ahead and divide. 20 can go into 2,000 and bring up my two zeros 100 times and 20 can go into 220. Let's count by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 plus one more 20 is 11. So do you see how I have 11 right there? And I'm going to bring up my zero. So I could say my compatible numbers can be 2,000 divided by 20 is 100, 
and 2,200 divided by 20 is 110. Now remember, these are just estimates. They're compatible numbers. You want to find numbers that are friendly. So if you don't have these numbers, if you weren't thinking like I was thinking, that's okay as long as your answer, the final quotient, should be around in the low 100s. All right, let's go down to number nine. It says use compatible numbers to estimate this quotient. All right, let's look at 82. What can we round that to? I'm going to go ahead and call that 80. Okay. Now, if you think about your multiples of 8, you know 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, and 8 times 7 is 56. Now, I'm going to stop right there because looking at these first two numbers, 55, it's really close to 56, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and just call this 5,600. So I'm estimating this dividend to be about 5,600 and my divisor to be about 80. Now I can easily divide, okay? I can say 80 can go into 560 seven times because 7 times 80 is 560, and then I'm just going to bring up my 0. So my estimate is about 70. The real answer should be near about 70. Now for this question, it did not ask for two different ones, so we just went ahead and found this one. So let's look at question 11 together. On question number 11, what can we round 28 to be? Go ahead and write that down. Okay, did you round yours to 30? That's what I was thinking. Now let's go ahead and think about our multiples of 30. 30, 60, 90. Now if you wanted to divide it into 600, that's a possibility. Or you can say 900. I would accept either one of these. That would be a good compatible number. All right, go ahead and find your estimated quotient. All right, did you say that should be about 20 or this should be about 30? If you did, you are correct. All right, let's take a look at question number 13 at the bottom of our page. It says a cubic yard of topsoil weighs 4,128 pounds. About how many 50-pound bags of topsoil can you fill with one cubic yard of topsoil? So we're going to estimate. What do you think would be a good number that we can go ahead and make compatible for 4,128? Think about 50, okay? I'm thinking, just to be quick and easy in my head, I'm going to go ahead, if I'm thinking of counting by fives, I know five times eight is 40, and that's really close to 41. That's a compatible number. So I'm going to go ahead and just change this to 4,000 divided by 50. All right, now I can divide you quickly and mentally in my head. I know 50 can go into 400 eight times, and we're just going to bring up that zero because 80 times 50 is 4,000. So we would say 80 is a good estimate. So let's look at our question. If a cubic yard of topsoil weighs 4,128 pounds, about how many 50-pound bags of topsoil can you fill with one cubic yard of topsoil? It would take about 80 bags to make it happen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number 14. It says an electronics store places an order for 2,665 USB flash drives. One shipping box holds 36 flash drives. About how many boxes will it take to hold all of the flash drives? Now if we know one box holds 36 flash drives and there's this many total, you have to know how many boxes it'll take. So the equation really is 2,665 divided by 36. Let's go ahead and find a compatible number so that way we can do this mentally in our head for estimation. I'm going to go ahead and say 36 is about 40 if I rounded that up. And now I want to think about my multiples of 4 to help me find a compatible number. 4, 
8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Now 24 is kind of close to 26. Let's go one more to 28. Now I'm going to go ahead and put 28 with two zeros to make it 2,800. Now if you did 2,400, that could still work, okay, because we're just estimating. All right, now I can say 2,800 divided by 40. 40 goes into 280 seven times because seven times 40 is 280. And we're just going to bring up this zero. So we can say that there's about 70 boxes that it'll take to hold all the flash drives. Now your two homework questions for tonight are questions one and two. It's, I want you to go ahead and work these out and do your best. And if you still don't feel like you are confident, don't worry, we will be practicing more tomorrow. But go ahead and choose A, B, C, or D for either one or two. And I want you to rate yourself either as novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert based on estimating with compatible numbers. When you're finished with questions one and two, don't forget to do three through six for extra practice, and we'll check all six of those tomorrow in class. Have a great night. Bye-bye.